Hey boys and girls, welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine JBL. What you waiting on, Richardson? Because today we're going to be talking about how I think JBL is late on some product releases. Well, some of our favorite product releases, such as let's say the JBL Charge 5. A few weeks ago, I actually did a video on how the Charge 6 should be coming up. So the JBL Charge 5 is late, bruh. The JBL 6 or the Flip 6, I think is late. The JBL Extreme uh, Extreme 4, I think is late. The what, what we got here, the JBL Flip, or no, 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 it's the, the Clip 5. I think it's late. The JBL uh, Go 4, I, I think it was Go, Go 3, Go 4. I don't know, it's the Go 4. The Go 4, I think it's late. And here's why, okay? So I did a little digging on the internet, man, and I was just looking up some release dates and it looks like JBL has a two, sometimes possibly three year release pattern with all their portable speakers. When I say portable speakers, I'm talking about the ones that I just mentioned, the uh, starting with the Go to the, uh, to the Clip, to the Flip, to the Extreme, to the Charge. I do not count the Pulse because Mainly, I don't like that speaker. That's my main reason for not counting it. I think it's a silly speaker. <laughs> it doesn't fit in the equation anywhere. So let's just leave that one out. Even though it did come out in 2023, along with the Boombox 3, those are they were actually late, both of them. But we're not going to talk about them because they're officially not late at this point. The new version anyway. So I looked at the Charge 3, right? Or the Charge, yeah, when the Charge 3, looks like that came out in 2016 and the Charge 4 in 2018, that's two years. And then in 2021, the Charge 5 made its debut. Man, and I love this speaker. This is actually my favorite speaker from JBL right next to the JBL Boombox 3 because I think it's the best value of all of their speakers and one of the best performing as far as sound and price per buck or uh, boom per buck. But now it looks like JBL is actually running a little bit late on what we would think would be the JBL Charge 6. So some people say that there will be no Charge 6 right now because they just released the Charge Wi-Fi. To be honest with you, I don't think that has anything to do with it. I think the Charge Wi-Fi, Charge, yeah, Charge 5 Wi-Fi is actually kind of a bonus speaker because they just released a JBL Boombox 3. And then within the same year, they released the Boombox uh, three Wi-Fi. So I don't know. I, I'm still thinking we're going to get a JBL Charge 6, hopefully sometime soon, because it is actually running a little bit late now that we are in January 2024. That's where we're at right now. And the Charge 5, I think it should be on the way. Now let's move on to this little gem right here, the JBL Flip 6. Now this little bad boy debuted as the Flip 4 in 2017. But then in August 2019, that's when the Flip 5 came out and December 2021 was when the Flip 6 actually made its debut to the United States. So I've been enjoying this speaker. It is actually a great bottle size speaker. You can use this thing in like your bike or something like that. It fits in a cup holder very, very well. I do have all my complaints about JBL speakers and they're all kind of similar. Some of them are a little bit different. Um, I love the bottle style. I don't expect this speaker to actually sit up when you when you sit it here. Yeah, it's going to roll a little bit, but they also give you this lanyard right here. Right. And that kind of just stops it as, as another little stopper to keep it from rolling. But for all intents and purposes, I actually like the ergonomics and the design of this speaker because it's made for a certain purpose. And that's to just kind of roll with you. You stick it in a cup holder or a bottle holder on your bike or something like that. And then you got this lanyard to strap it to your wrist or maybe a handlebar or something. And it's just super ultra portable. Love it, love it, love it. But that don't mean JBL ain't late. As good as this one is, and as good as it holds up to today's standards in 2024, as, as far as their schedule goes, let me see what I'm looking at here. Was it two years or three years? So we got 2017 to 2019. Uh, that's two years. And then 2019 to 21, that's another two years. So it looks like, man, they're a little bit late. They're supposed to come out somewhere in 2023. So hopefully, you know, being that it's January 2024, we get a JBL Flip 7, which would be great. But now that we've get, gotten into the Charge 5 and the Flip 6 with these similar designs, well, this one kind of looks more like a football and it shares more of a design language with the Extreme 3. Uh, I'm wondering what they're going to do to change things because previous to this this uh jbl big logo right here it was like a small orange jbl logo so they just made it a little bit more extreme hence the next speaker i want to talk about which is the jbl extreme 3. now this thing right here to me is a very controversial jbl speaker 
It made its debut as the JBL Extreme in 2015, and since then, it has been a fan favorite amongst uh, JBL fans, but oh man, I think if any speaker is just not worth buying in the JBL lineup, it is this one. I think it is severely overpriced, man, uh, based off what you get. Now, people like, even like the power, the wattage and everything, it's, it's all distorted when, well, <laughs> Pun intended, I guess. It's kind of distorted because JBL advertises so many watts, you know, and then some people say you got to plug it in to get that many watts. And I'm thinking, look, it's a battery powered portable speaker. It should just be what it is. You should not have to plug it in and leave it stationary because it has a portable design. It even comes with a detachable strap for crying out loud. Whatever watt did you give us, JBL, as far as like what these speakers are capable of, please let it be the, the actual wattage or the power output that you get from the actual built-in battery. We do not want to have these things plugged in at all times because I think that kind of messes with your battery, right? But in 2015, uh, this came out as the JBL Extreme Extreme, not Extreme One, it was just the Extreme. But then it looks like in 2018, which was three years later, we got the JBL Extreme Two. And then in September, 2020, the JBL Extreme Three came out. I remember that very, very uh, vividly because I was excited for it. I was excited to hear it and I was kind of a little bit disappointed. I mean, it sounds fantastic, but I was just kind of like, man, this thing cost like almost $400 when it came out. And I was like, that's all I'm getting for four bills. So, so I was a little bit disappointed and that's why I don't really think this is JBL's like, like best speaker. I, I think this is for, I don't know who this speaker is for, man. I, I think if you're going to spend this much money on a speaker, you should level up to the JBL boom box, uh, either two or three. Uh, they're not as portable, but Hey, it is what it is. At least you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Now, so since September, 2020, you had the, your extreme three that means what am i looking at here somewhere around 2022 okay this new one was supposed to come out maybe 2023 if you're going with the three-year release which is well eh, they've done two and three years but now it is january 2024 jbl where's the jbl extreme four come on bro tell me you got something you got something you hiding from us where is the jbl extreme four i would love to know man i can't wait to get my hands on it hopefully there has been some improvements to sound quality and bang for buck. I do mean that sincerely. I, I just, I've always felt like this speaker was severely overpriced and just controversial based on how much output you get as far as power and sound. And like, I shouldn't have to plug it up, but I need to move on because we got another speaker to talk about. And that would be the clip five. This is not the clip five. This is actually the clip four. And this is actually another one of my faves, man. I really like this speaker and I like the sound that it puts out versus the price. Well, I did not want to spend $80 on it. I bought it retail. You can get it quite a bit cheaper now, but I hated that I liked this thing so much that I was willing to spend what I thought was a little bit too much money for it because Look at it, man. It's the clip. Well, you got the built-in clip right there. Love this speaker, man. When did this thing debut? Okay, so I'm looking at my notes here. It says May 2016, the Clip 4 actually made its debut. Not, not the Clip 4, the Clip 2 made its debut. I remember having a Clip 1 and I wanted the Clip 2 so bad, but you know, money wasn't right back then. So I had to stick with what I had and I moved on to other stuff. But then in January, 2018, which was two years later, we get a Clip 3. And then in December, 2020, we get a Clip 4. And that's what I'm holding in my hand today. So that means it is January, 2024. Okay, so let me see, December, 2020. So that means they got some time, all right? So we got a few more months before I start getting angry about not seeing a, a clip five, but hopefully we do see it at some point this year because I would love to see what improvements they make to this clip four. The only improvement I would like to see made, there's two of them, right? So the first of them, right, is the, is this, oh, you see this happening back here? JBL, man, you gotta do something about this on all your speakers. It's cute, it looks really good. You know, the little, <laughs> the little stuff right here, it is very cute, but, it's only functional as long as it's durable and it's just not. This stuff just comes off over time. So if we could get maybe a better adhesive or just a simple pad, like give us a full pad that just glues on there, like what you have with the uh, the JBL Go 3 here, which we'll talk about next. Uh, but this is not a sticky surface. So I need a sticky surface. This is, I need something sticky that so it won't move and bounce around. Also, what I would like to see with the clip is uh, so this is gonna be a third item. What I'd like to see is a you know better performance with the durability right here with these little grippies. And I don't know, maybe if we could actually like 
sit it, you know, sit it up like this and have it stay or on its side, not just on the back. But having an up firing speaker is always ideal when you have a speaker of this size because facing it forward towards you is kind of silly. This is not something that's just gonna come at you. You know, the driver ain't even that big, bro. Um, an up firing speaker would be best because and that's what that's the way this one is designed because I have the Sony XB100 and it's an up firing speaker. I have a Soundcore speaker that's an up firing speaker. Those sound fantastic. You just set them on a table and they they kind of funnel out the sound like upward and out versus like linear. Like I don't know. I don't know speaker physics. This is an untechnical tech channel. What I'm saying is I like an up firing speaker still, but I still want an opportunity to sit it up right. Also, I need more space here, JBL. You see this? You see this right here? You cannot put this on a bike. I know why you don't want me to put it on a bike because if I do, it's gonna scratch right here and this will be ugly and people complain. But maybe put some neoprene. You got neoprene right here on the actual clap, uh, class. Why not just let it run all the way through? That way you can expand this opening right here and it will be more flexible to put on more items such as a bicycle handle. Average bicycle handle is about one inch. I don't know what this is right here. This is not making it past a bicycle handle, but it will clip on a bag, backpack or something like that. So at least we have that, right? But I would like the hook to be bigger, more durability on the grippies. And if you could let us sit it straight up, even though I do prefer, prefer up firing speakers. But that brings us to the last speaker of this bunch, the JBL GO 3. Man, this little thing debuted as the JBL GO in 2015, and it's been a big hit with you guys ever since. Why do I know this? Because now we have a, uh, a GO 3. They wouldn't make three of them if y'all wasn't liking them. So with the original GO coming out in 2015, and then spring of 2018, we got a GO 2, that was three years, right? And then in 2021, we get the GO 3. That means there is a three year cycle between these, right? So what that means is 2024. Now it's January, 2024. Hey, JBL, where's our GO 4 at? <laughs> Where is my GO 4? Okay, and what are you gonna do about this design? I like, look, Let's, let's dig into this. I absolutely love the design of this. No, it does not have a clip. Some people don't care about a clip. Some people just want a little mini speaker like this that you can just sit up. I think this is silly to sit a, a speaker of this size like this, sit it straight up and have it firing this way. I think it should be designed to at least, if you're gonna have this right here, I think this little back pad right here should at least be grippy. I don't know what this is. Some people say it's like a base radiator. I've never seen one like this before. So JBL, I wish you could tell me what this is in the comments, man. I know you be watching my videos, JBL. I know y'all be watching me, but uh, yeah, what is this right here? It's not grippy. It's not like a pad that you can sit it on because if you actually set it down on its backside and start playing music, this thing is gonna vibrate right off the table. So it is not designed to be laid down like this unless you put it on maybe some concrete or some grass and possibly some, you know, some not, not like short carpet, but like some carpet. Otherwise, it's just, as the beat drops, it's just gonna start scooting all over the place. It is designed to be set up like this. And look, it's cool to sit a speaker like this. I just said I wish the clip four would do it, but this shouldn't be the only option. We should be able to lay this thing flat on its back so it could be an up firing speaker. I would love to have that as an upgrade. And a little bit more battery life, please. Can we get a little bit more battery life out of this thing, man? I mean, the Clip 4 is, is killing it with the battery life as far as a speaker this size. Why'd you shortchange me on the battery for this one? Uh, sound quality, the Clip 4 does sound a little bit better. I don't know if it's got a bigger driver or not. Didn't go that far into the specs, but I mean, I think personally, I think like between the Clip 4 and the and the Go 3, I understand they're different speakers, but what if we could put the same internals into both of these, right? And just give the people one option or the other and let them cost the same. I don't care if they both cost $80 coming out. I, I, I don't know. I can't speak for everybody. I'm speaking for myself, but hey, let me know if in the comment, let me know in the comments if you guys agree with some of the stuff I've said about JBL's upcoming releases. And, you know, let's see if we can get some new speakers out of JBL in 2024. Something has got to be dropping as far as these speakers we just talked about because they're all kind of late, like some not until like December, but for the most part, JBL's a little off schedule when it comes to their releases. So hopefully, 2024 gives us some brand new JBL speakers because let's just fake it, fake it. <laughs> let's just face it. 
We're all JBL fanboys here. I don't know a single person who doesn't appreciate a JBL speaker. Some people just get upset because they cost so much. Some people get upset because I don't know, it's, it's usually cost, you know, with, with the JBL speakers. It's not that they sound bad because they do not sound bad, okay? The JBL speakers sound fantastic. It just might not be your cup of tea, but that don't mean they sound bad. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is, JBL, you late, bruh. <laughs> now y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.